A bipartisan deal to address border security went up in flames in the Senate Wednesday. For months, this had been widely seen as critical towards unlocking Republican support for additional aid to war-torn Ukraine. The Pentagon has recently said that funding has effectively run dry to send additional weaponry to Ukraine as it fends off Russian aggressors. Three senators basically spent around four months ironing out the border security provisions in this package, and it included some considerable concessions to Democrats. Typically, Democrats have demanded that border security reforms be paired with other reforms for DREAMers and some sort of status for illegal immigrants already inside the country. But Democrats have increasingly seen the border crisis as a major political liability heading into the 2024 election, and they decided to play ball on this because they also want the aid package to Ukraine and Israel. But before the deal was even released to the public, a deluge of Republicans came out against it, citing concerns. They pointed to leaks and stuff about the border provisions, and they said it was woefully insufficient. Democrats quickly blamed former President Donald Trump for derailing it. He publicly urged Republicans to kill the deal, and many Democrats have alleged that Trump was doing that for political reasons because he wants to preserve the issue for the 2024 election. Now, the Senate was thrust into absolute chaos on Wednesday. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer first took up the vote with the border deal as well as the other supplemental provisions. It needed 60 votes to pass and it came up short. There were even some Democrats such as Elizabeth Warren and Bob Menendez voting against that package. So then afterwards, Schumer brought up a clean version, if you will, of the supplemental featuring the aid to Ukraine, Israel, the Indo-Pacific, but without the border security provisions. Technically, the vote to advance that cleared but it was quite an interesting scene because they basically opened that vote and they kept it open for about four hours because Republicans were trying to negotiate an amendments process with that deal. So the clean version, the $93 billion supplemental package without the border security provisions, that has advanced in the Senate, but it hasn't cleared the Senate yet. And Schumer has said that he plans to continue forward with that this week. It remains unclear whether or not that could pass the House if it advances past the Senate. House Speaker Mike Johnson hasn't been clear what he will do on that. And I should say that Republican leadership in the Senate seems to have been caught a bit flat-footed and have been a bit uncertain about how to play this whole thing. Minority leader Mitch McConnell had endorsed the border deal, and there are some Republican senators that even voted against the border deal that said that they want border security to be part of the supplemental. So it remains very unclear where this is headed next.